Alrighty guys, what's going on? Linky here, and in today's video, I'm just going to talk a little bit about the Celestica people, the group of people we learned about in Pokemon Legends Arceus who originally inhabited the Hisui region and came from the south. These are the first people to come into the land of Hisui and populate it, and we learn about this from many of the notes left about the Hisui region. We also learn about this a lot from Volo, the character who you end up facing at the end of the game, and it's just an interesting time topic that I think Legends Arceus is using to set up some future games. Let's discuss it. There are so many reasons why I love the Sinnoh region and why I love Generation 4 as a whole. When it comes to fantasy media and fictional works, I love the lore and history that writers and designers give their worlds. Pokemon has an incredibly rich and ever-evolving lore to its world building, and Generation 4 in particular gave us so much in terms of historical background, uh, worship of gods and deities, creation of the world itself, a lot of this lore that is absolutely crucial to a deeper understanding of your fictional world, and they did it in spades. Legends Arceus was no different. It took a lot of the original stuff created by Game Freak in Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum and just charged it up by a thousand. We got tons of new stuff and tons of new writings and musings from the people of the Hisui region about the land they were living on. Hisui is an interesting moment in Pokemon's history because we're seeing a region populated from the very beginning. We're learning a lot about the original people who populated the land, we're learning about how the transition to modern Sinnoh happens, and we're getting to see the clashing ideals between people who fear the land and people who live off the land. And in the world of Pokemon, part of living off the land is interacting with the flora and fauna of the land, and that is Pokemon. We see the Diamond Clan and the Pearl Clan share an intimate connection with the Pokemon who live on the land of Hisui, whereas the Galaxy Expedition team and some of the people who are leading it are deeply apprehensive of connecting human human and Pokemon. One of the things that we see throughout the game is this ancient people. In Old Verse 5, we see it say, quote, long and longer yet ago, Celestica was here. Both folk and town alike both did disappear. In time came new folk sailing, sailing across the sea, called by their love of Sinnoh, great and almighty. But different were Sinnoh that each folk did hold dear, and bitter strife and anger war were always at the near. Celestica, they called themselves, the name not theirs to take, yet claim it from the past they did, for tragic quarrel's sake. So once again did our name live, through all our people gone, but even if the name endures, its heart does not live on. The Celestica people came before the Diamond and Pearl clans, but the Diamond and Pearl clans are ancestors of the Celestica people, but Celestica is not a name of theirs. It is a name even older than those people. One of the things speculated about from the community is where these people came from, and given the geography of the Pokemon world, it is fair to claim that they came from the south. Sinnoh is the northernmost point of the continent made up of Johto, Kanto, and Sinnoh. To the north of the Johto region, but to the south of the Sinnoh region, is an area of land, a mountainous area called Sinjo. We see the Sinjo ruins in Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver. In there is a temple that Cynthia takes you to with an expedition explorer, expedition explorer, with an excavator where you get to use the Arceus brought from Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum to create a new egg of Dialga and Palkia. Some have speculated that Sinjo is where these people are from. They migrated further north and founded the Hisui region. These are the Celestica people. They probably called the area of what is now known Celestic Town to be home. There's so much here that it is really fun to dig into. One of the topics that it brings up is, well, why did they worship Sinnoh? And why does that worship of Sinnoh not permeate the modern world? And who are the original Celestica people? Is Celestica the name of Hisui even before it's called 
Hisui. Is Celestica the name of the continent at large or the name it used to be gone by? In some of the verses, as I read off before, and I wanted to read you the whole verse because I think it's it's very important for a lot of this lore, they talk about Celestica as not only being the people who call this land home, but also the name of the land itself. It's really interesting, and it's, it's interesting to see how the almost religious worship of the deity Sinnoh, which is, one would have to assume, Arceus, how this permeates not only the people who live here, but also the people who are now the ancestors. Now, before we go any further, I just wanted to mention that the vast majority of you guys who are watching these videos and hopefully enjoying them aren't subscribed to the channel. Now, of course, subscribing is free and you can unsubscribe anytime. And if you do subscribe, be sure to turn that notification bell on so you never miss another upload. And check out the join tab, see if the perks interest you. And if you want to go the extra mile in supporting me, that is also always greatly appreciated. Given the lore behind the Celestica people, the connection to the Sinjo region and the location of Hisui in relation to the rest of this continent, a lot of people are speculating that the next Legends game, if there is one, is going to be a Johto-centric game. Of course, Johto will probably have a different name. It'll probably be just the Johto region and not the Kanto region, unfortunately, because since Heart Gold and Soul Silver, Game Freak has really not wanted to return to previous regions in the same game. But if we do go back to the Johto region, it's going to be some interesting questions that will have to be answered. Sinnoh went by Hisui. What will Johto go by? If Johto and Sinnoh are both going by different names in their past, how does the region between the two eventually come to be known as Sinjo? Will they even address it? If they do address it, are we going to learn more about the Celestica people? This is all assuming, like I said before, that the next game in the Legends series is going to be based on Johto, that is, if we even get another Legends game at all. And of course, Johto is the region that we've visited the least frequently in the most recent period of time. It is the game that has yet to be remade the most recently, it is the generation that we've yet to explore very deeply in the last 10 or 15 years, and it is the game that came after the Sinnoh region. So if you're going to be remaking them, and also considering remakes in your list of games that need to be remade, then before Black and White and Black and White 2 can be remade, you're talking about Heart Gold and Soul Silver, which are already remakes. That sounded really confusing, but I hope it tracks. And I don't think they're going to remake a remake. I think they're going to give it the Legends treatment. A couple YouTubers have made videos on this in the last couple weeks speculating about the potential of a Let's Go Johto, not a Let's Go Johto, a Legends Johto. And I do agree with them that it is likely. And it's going to be likely that we see more built upon the Celestica people. My personal theory I don't think the Celestica people are from the Johto region. I think the Celestica people are from Sinjo, the area between Johto and Sinnoh. These people are regionless, and they come to settle the Sinnoh region and eventually become the Diamond and Pearl clans, which translate to the modern world of Sinnoh. They are the first people to call Sinnoh home. There were Celestica people before them, but it's because they're the ones who came from previous regions. I did a video about this a couple months back, and I'll link it uh, in the card above right now if you want to learn a little bit more about Volo and Cynthia and their connections to the Celestica people. I think the topic is really interesting, and I would love to know what you guys think. Do you think we're going to learn more about the Celestica people in a future Legends game? Do you think we could see some writings or some verses talking about these people in a book somewhere in the Paldea region, considering it is bookended by Legends Arceus on one end? They do like to connect these games that are the ones that follow each other in the release cycle, at least a little bit sometimes hinting towards future games and other times calling back to the ones before it. So if we do see some mentions of the Johto region, the Sinnoh region, or the Hisui region, I would expect it to be related to that lore, but that's if we do get those callbacks. If we get hints towards the future, that kind of just goes out the window and we really don't have much to work with there. But I'd be interested to see if they continue to build on this and if they continue to build on it with another Legends game. If you agree, let me know down in the comments section below. If you disagree, let me know there too. This was just a little fun video just talking a little bit about this topic because I think there needs to be more here. I would love to learn more lore about the ancient past of Pokemon in future games. With that being said, I've been Linky and we'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.